What's up everybody? Back with a video. This is the XFL 2001, the original XFL set. All these helmets here, they're all pocket pro size. They're all 3D printed by myself. So back in 2001, the XFL wore bikey helmets. So I tried to replicate the bikey helmets best I could without having a, another model made. So I used a shut air revenge. So basically these are shut air revenge helmets. You know, similar, same one that Brett, uh, Aaron Rodgers wears. So we'll go through these helmets, take a look at them. We'll start off with the XFL logo helmet first. So here's the XFL logo helmet, as you see. I made this one of matte black with the front bumper with the XFL logo on it, you can see. And then the other side in the back, the back. I'll get a closer look. I made uh, XFL rear bumper and a white uh, warning decal. And basically, that warning decal is made with what's called Ghost Ink, which I, it's a laser ink for your printer that will print white instead of black. So those are actually white decals. And that's the XFL logo helmet. Next up, San Francisco Demons. This is a pretty cool helmet because, you know, I want to say the XFL is the first league or first teams I remember I used a tapered, you know, the tapered center stripe. I could be wrong, but they're one of the first ones I remember. This one here has a unique tapered stripe where it's tapered on one side and it meets the other one. Which is pretty cool. And there's, again, I used the ghost decal. You can see there. And on the inside of these helmets, the padding is original padding that you would find on that uh, shut air advantage helmet. That's the San Francisco Demons. Next up is the Memphis Maniacs. Let's use the same tapered stripe. This one. Just goes to the end in the back. And I used black warning decal for that one and the XFL logo. See, the original XFL, they didn't have uh, rear bumpers. The bikey helmets they wore, they didn't have rear bumpers. But I put rear bumpers on these just so I can put this. So they were colored where this is white and then it would just have the XFL logo. I decided not to do that. I thought it looked better with these. Except for the logo helmet so this is the memphis maniacs next up the new york new jersey hitman which is a good name but a weak logo i mean you could have come up with something better than an h but it is what it is i'm not a fan of teams using just uh especially pro team maybe college is fine but a pro team using just a letter or interlocking letters or whatever. You can do better than that. Especially when your team's called the Hitman. You can do way better than that. And that's the New York, New Jersey Hitman. That's their stripe. At least, you know, leagues since the, the NFL have called the team New York, New Jersey. Like the World League of American Football. Maybe the NFL needs to start doing that with the Giants and the Jets since they don't even play in New York anymore. But that's the New York, New Jersey Hitman. Now, this is one of my favorite XFL helmets. This is the Orlando Rage. It's got a cool color scheme. It's got a nice logo. See, that's a cool logo right there, man. If you're going to make be a professional team, especially in a startup league, and you need all the money you can get by selling your memorabilia and helmets and this and that, just have a cool logo. And have a real cool stripe. Basically a lightning bolt stripe. It's a rear bumper. Or a red face mask. I try to be as detailed as possible and I painted the the rivets gold. And that's the Orlando Rage. A lot of people's favorite XFL team was the Las Vegas Outlaws. Again. You got a cool name, then you just go with the LV logo, but it still is good. I 
I'm not the marketing director for these leagues, but I wouldn't have went with that logo. But there you go. They have a black stripe starts on the back, tapers to the front. Except for this is the one, especially that I remember without the bumper, it had the XFL underneath the stripe, which I always thought was kind of odd, but I never realized back then, you know, they didn't have a bumper on these helmets. That's the Las Vegas Outlaws. Now we got the Chicago Bruisers. What was it, Bruisers? No, not the Bruisers. That was a Reno team that had a, one of the original Reno teams they had in Chicago. They're called the Enforcers. It's not a bad logo. I think we know where Black Lives Matter got their logo. But anyways, there's the Chicago Enforcers. There's the black helmet, black mask with the C, the fist logo. And in the back, I use the ghost decals again and tapered stripe, which is blue with, with like a silver outline. So here we have the LA Extreme, which is uh, one of the more things that they won the championship the only year in the XFL. And this helmet here, if you look closer at the decal, I use a combination of clear water slide decals and ghost decal. I put the ghost white down first and then I came on top with the water slide decal to give it that look of an actual decal. See where the A, otherwise I'd have to cut that out. And there was no way I'm cutting that out because I cut all these out by hand with a pair of scissors. There's their rear bumper and there's their stripe, which is a unique stripe. I don't think I've ever seen, might be a college team out there that has a stripe like that if I remember correctly. But it's one of the more unique stripes. There you go. Maybe a little closer to that. So pretty cool. I like the way that came out. That's the first time I've done that with a ghost with the ghost ink. So that's your LA Extreme. And this here is the Birmingham Thunderbolts. This is one of my favorite uh helmets of all time. They got the Thunderbolt logo that goes all the way around the helmet. And these decals here are the exact decals that they wore. And what I did was I bought a helmet, took the decals off and scanned them and used them to make the decals for these. I did that many years ago. I still have them. And uh, I just edited them to fit on this helmet. And it came out pretty good. There's actually three three pieces like the center that's one and each side is another piece in the interlock that's how I did those and I like this design for 2001 man I was really like man groundbreaking design you know nowadays you see way you see things like hydro dip helmets that this and that but this is a pretty cool design and it wasn't easy to make to get those decals for that I think it came out pretty good. And that's the Birmingham Thunderbolts. Birmingham has had a lot of pro teams over the years. And this year, as you know, the USFL is coming back and they're going to have Birmingham Stallions. I always wanted to see a team have success there, but hasn't yet, but hopefully soon. And so that's the Birmingham Thunderbolts. So that's my 2001 3D printed XFL set. I get a lot of uh, comments saying, you know, where do you get the files? I need the files. Uh, I have a designer that makes these and he's really good. His name is Simon, Simon Brockman. He's from, uh, he's actually from Germany. He's a big football fan. He's probably the best there is when it comes to any kind of football helmet 3D modeling. So I don't sell these uh, files I just make the helmets for myself and uh, if you're wanting to print these yourself you have to hit them up you can find them on uh, Twitter Facebook uh, CG Trader I think he's on there and you can get the files and print these yourself it's not hard 
And also with this set, I decided to make make a sign. Put that in the back. It's kind of I made the XFL logo sign to go on the wall when I put these up. And that that sign right there I sublimated on a marker board. It's actually a marker board that I sublimated on. And I'm gonna start making those that go with my with my sets. I'm going through my whole collection basically. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make remake every helmet in 3D to exact replicas of what they were as or close as I can get. So I think that's that's always been my dream to be able to do that and now that's it's here and the technology is only getting better, so these are only gonna get better as we go. So if you got any questions, put a comment. And I, every once in a while, you know, I talk monotone, I get a couple comments. Can't understand you. Why do you talk like that? Either get some hearing aids or put the closed caption on all I can tell you, but that's how I talk. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe if you want to see more videos. I, I've been kind of slow on my videos, but I'm going to start pumping them out here in the next few months. All right. Thanks for watching.